Holy moly. Holy moly donut shop. <sighs> oh, yeah. Hated it. We'll make it last. Make it last forever. Time, time, time. Girl, you know. Oh, God. Everything is against me today. <laughs> my eye, the landscaping people, my phone. <sighs> oh. Y'all be weak in the knees. Stand up. Stand up. Who's <laughs> What's up everybody? My name is Andrea. If you're new here and if you are, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. To my OG subscribers, thanks for tuning back in and welcome back to another video. All right, so we have another haul, but it's not just home goods. We have some actual Zara home. Yes, from the actual site. Now some items were on sale, some items were full price, but they're all so good nonetheless. So let's just hop in. Today, oh my gosh, something is in my eye. So today I only have one, wait, like one, <laughs> one home goods find. And I want to go ahead and mention her because she was so good that I got her home, took a picture, put it on my stories on Instagram and told you guys to run. Run. Hopefully you caught it. How amazing is this piece? I don't have to retouch, repaint, re nothing. Like, do you see all the details? The little dimples in it, oh my gosh. The texture, the tone, <gasps> this is everything. I was on the aisle with two other people, spotted this and snatched it before they could even see it. Don't touch it. Don't even look at it. Go on, get out. You heard me. Don't look at me either. There was only one and she was mine. Now I got this, I think a little over a week ago, if I'm not mistaken, and I haven't seen her since. Like I said, there was only one in the store. So I don't know if, it's... oh my gosh, what is in my eye? Uh... What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Like I said, there was only one in the store and I haven't seen it since. So I don't know if this is like, Right on time. Right again, mother like I was saying, there was only one of these in the store and I've been multiple times since then. Haven't seen it since. So hopefully you guys got your hands on this. I will leave the style number down um, in the description box. It was at handcrafted in Vietnam. Interesting. This was only $25, but it looks like a million bucks. Like, legit looks like a designer piece. I cannot wait to, actually we don't have to wait. Let's go ahead and put her up because it's just too good. Oh my gosh, looks so good. That might not be its permanent spot, but I just wanted to kind of get it on display because I'm so proud of her. Okay, so on to some Zara Home pieces. Now, like I said, Zara Home had a sale. It's actually still going on now, but it's been a couple weeks now, and as you can guess, the inventory is kind of scarce at this point. Everything is being purchased so quickly. You don't have time to think about it. Just purchase it. Now, I can say that because I had this next piece in my cart, and I went back to the site to shop around some more, add some more things to my shopping bag. When I came back, it was sold out. Tragic. But if I'm being honest, sometimes, although it does make me sad for like, a brief second but then I just said to myself wasn't meant to be and at the end of the day you're saving money because you're not buying anything so I just charged it to the game fast forward a couple days I get a notification from Zara home saying hey girl something you left in your cart is back in stock and I'm just like Molly you in danger girl because I knew I was gonna buy it I'm very impulsive when it comes to that kind of stuff. I don't want to miss out. I would rather buy it and return it if I don't like it than not get it and just be like, dang, I wish I got that. You know what I mean? Now, I'm a neutral girly for the most part. Not to a T where it's like everything has to be cream, black, white, or no. No. My aesthetic is more like everything can go with everything, if that makes sense. 
But with this, I broke the rules. Yes, it's yellow. I can hear the cream, white, and beige stands now. You ain't no cop. You ain't no cop, Jay Reed. You a sellout! But to me, this still feels kind of neutral. I just feel like this is gonna be a vibe. Now this is a duvet cover. I told you guys that I am updating my bedroom. Once again. So initially I got this nude one, but it was something about this butter yellow. That's what the site calls it. This butter yellow shade, and I was rather intrigued. Now I did wear this yellow shirt to kind of compare, but honestly they look, oh my gosh, my eye. What is that? Like I was saying, I wore this yellow shirt to kind of compare the two, but this is actually more, it blends a little bit more with this duvet cover, so it's not really proving my point. So I'll put up a yellow square to prove my point because yeah, that was a fail. <laughs> Although yellow is in the name, I feel like this is very subtle. I took a poll over on Instagram. I don't remember if I put it over here on YouTube, but I know I did one on Instagram. I put a picture up. Most of you guys said, hey, play it safe, go with the nude. And it kind of made me second guess myself. I'm not gonna lie because I never really buy anything this shade. So for a while it was sitting in my bedroom and I was like, what's wrong? Am I tripping? But then I went on Pinterest, per usual, and decided... <clears throat> but then I went on Pinterest and I decided... Nah. This is gonna be good. I started noticing the shade and pins that I saved way before I even saw this duvet cover. It looked amazing in all of them. Then I started looking at decor I have already here in my home and it was even more confirmation. Like, look at this color match. Is this a joke? Perfect. Now in my poll, I showed like a little rough draft, a little mood board, if you will, of all the materials and shades that I plan on using in my bedroom. I did a Viola Calicutta and green marble with the butter yellow duvet cover, and it looked amazing. That's what I already had in my bedroom, but then I started pulling stuff from like my kitchen cabinets and other places that I usually have my decor that I'm not using. And legit, this shade looks good with everything. I can do red travertine, I can do brown marble, I can do black marble, I can do straight wood. Everything looks good. A. Hey. Bars. This was originally, I want to say it was either 150 or 180 I can't remember, but I got it for 100 I got the king size, even though I have a queen size bed, because you guys, like I told you, I like the drama, and I want to kind of drape it over the bed and kind of have it just flow, like puddle the floor, you know? So y'all just have to stay tuned to see the vision come to life. I'm so... Everything is against me today. <gasps> my eye, the landscaping people, my phone. <sighs> Y'all be weak in the knees. Stand up. Stand up. Anyway, yeah. Now, if you caught my home updates video that I did a couple weeks ago, you guys would have seen this pillow, but I never officially brought it to the channel, like in a haul, so I thought I would do that now. Now, this is from, oh shoot. I said I only had one thing from home goods, huh? I knew you was lying. I knew you was lying, man. I'm sorry, Kyler. You a liar. Oh well, whatever. This is from Home Goods. I got two of them. Um, they were $30 a piece. But when I tell you the quality of these are so amazing, oh m gosh, the quality of these things are so amazing. I only saw two. I got them in one trip and I haven't seen them since. I've been on the hunt because I feel like I need just one more to actually... Well, two is actually okay for a queen size, but I'm eventually gonna upgrade to a king size and I want another one so I can fill it properly. Haven't seen it since. If you guys have seen it, let me know because yeah, I will literally send you, no, I ain't sending you no money because scammers. Um, just scratch that. <laughs> let me know if you see them in stores so I can know. So go check mine. Yeah, that works. So if suede and velvet had a baby, this would be it. It's not quite as shiny and plush as your typical velvet, but it's not as 
napped as suede is if that makes sense so like it's the perfect blend of the two and this shade of brown i don't even have to reiterate how much i love it even though i just kind of did <laughs> but look how dope these are gonna look together <gasps> holy moly holy moly donut shop so good i'm like i'm so excited y'all y'all just don't know this it's gonna be epic mark my words okay so back to zara home i wanted to add some more brass to my aesthetic and i thought these candle holders were perfection like are you kidding now i will say i thought the finish was going to be more of a polished more yellow kind of gold so it will patina over time naturally but these came already kind of pre-aged if you will so it's fine they were only $23 a piece and they come with this little handle like how vintage does that look but it's not uh, no, it ain't. the detail on the rim of this candle holder is like chef's kiss so so good and of course it has like the little pokey like a like a little, like a needle, I guess that's a better term, um, to stick a taper candle down in. And I thought these would be amazing on my nightstands or on my console table in my bedroom, but I can also use this in my bookcases, in my kitchen, on the counter, even on a pedestal. Amazing, like, so good. Now, of course, I'm gonna pair those candle holders with taper candles because Duh. And Zara Home had some really nice ones. Like, not gonna lie. Anyway. <clears throat> cannot catch a break today. Oh. Anyway, like I was saying, I knew I didn't want like a normal taper candle because the candle holders was just so good. So I opted for the ones that Zara Home had on their site. So these are connected, I haven't cut them yet. But do you see the shape and how tall these are? These are 15 inches. Normally taper candles come in like the 10, 12 range. But like I said, I didn't want a normal taper candle to put in those candle holders. And I thought I needed these extra tall ones, right? And then I went back to look at my order and I realized I paid ten dollars for this pair so five dollars per candle what so I'm thinking of course I can find these cheaper so let's go to Amazon right order some on Amazon they came in just last night actually and yeah hated it <laughs> something right I will say the shape and shade of the Zara home one is way better than the Amazon one, but the Amazon one is beating Zara Home on price, of course. I got a pack of 12 of these for $23. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna definitely keep these because like I said, I love the shape and the shade. So these will probably be ones that I just keep in a candle holder that are not lit. And then I'll just keep these, well not these because I hate the color. I actually ordered some white ones um, to see if that is more this because these are supposed to be ivory. It looks more like peach to me. Yeah. But the ones that come in, if the color is better, I'll just keep those to actually burn because like I said, I want a tall candle to burn down and have more is it called burn time? I think it's called burn time. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. Yeah, but I mean, these are just, these are really cute. I'm not gonna lie, like it was a splurge. It was a splurge, but like I said, I don't plan on burning them. So we'll make it last. Make it last forever. Oh, turn, turn, turn. Girl, you know. Okay guys, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in and spending some time with me. I'm so excited about this haul. I'm so excited to update my bedroom. It's gonna be so good. I'm just waiting on a few more pieces. Let me know if you have any questions. I will link the Zara Home candles and candle holder down in the description box. If I can find the link for that duvet cover, I will. Um, but it's been sold out for like a week, so. Yeah, but nonetheless, the style numbers of the home goods pieces will be down in the description box as well. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell if you haven't. Take care of yourselves, those around you, and your mental health, and I will see you guys in my next video. But until then, 
Peace out.